I realize I'm going to be gone for about a month and there are a bunch of games coming out on crowdfunding that I want to take a look at and show you guys really quick, even if it is not going live right now. So I can't really go much in depth with them. Hello and welcome to Assorted Meeples. I'm Philip, the Meeple on duty, and today, like I said, we're taking a look at some crowdfunding. Some of these are out, some of these are not, and some of them are just curiosities for me. So just a little bit of prep before I head out on my Alaska trip. First one isn't necessarily a crowdfunding. This is a game that's been out for a few years now, but I kind of just ran across it. And I'm looking for a war game for my for me and my, uh, at least my old, my one boy, um, and he is, because he's into that sort of thing a little bit, and I want to explore it. I don't really care for the Warhammer universe. That's a bit dark and has, it has stuff attached to it that I don't want in my house. So uh, I'll go, I think it's, I love Warhammer. I love like, I love looking at the stuff. I just, I just don't want it in my house. So, uh, Steel Riff, to me, looks like it has a very simplified system with a high variability of what you can do with the game and relatively low price overhead to get into and get battling with people. Obviously, you can spend a lot of money on any game. This has the modularity of uh, building your mechs out and your company out, as well as a lot of different units and a lot of different weapons involved as well. Plus, you get to paint your paint your armies how you want to, and I think you can even mix mix and match your factions as needed to really make the game what you want it to be. And I do love me some uh, giant mech warfare. I love me some Gundam. So. Moving on to the next thing. First up is Rebit, Rebirth by Reiner Kinsey, Kinza. And it is, as you can see, doing really well. It's at 150,000 with nearly 3,000 backers. This company is doing something really nice in this. Uh, this is a post apocalyptic setting. Right now, it comes with two maps one is scotland one is ireland and you are trying to be the faction and take control of the larger areas they do this like with most kinza games these are really good simple rule sets that interact a lot and make it a good game that way you're you're not going to be bogged down by high rules overhead you're going to be bogged down by the choices you make off of that simple rule set. This is going to be a limited edition. You're looking at 45 pounds. Uh, we'll get into that a bit more. They're delivering in December in North America and everywhere else in the UK. They're doing September. So they're doing something interesting there. I don't know where they're producing the stuff, but... By and large, what they said is, we're getting this out the door so much because we're not doing a bunch of stretch goals. We're not doing a bunch of added content in here. We have everything made already. We're not adding to it. And I think that's interesting. Uh, they're starting out with these really nice cloth bags with the each faction's uh, animal and color on it. I think it's a really fabulous uh, way to do it. Very nice. Um, they got a bunch if this is your first one drawing you in. Uh, you're going to draw one from your bag. You're going to place it down on either energy points or food points. And you're going to, or your, the blanks are wild. You also have population tokens in there. Uh, in their settlements that you can place on as well. And they have different things where you can claim territories and get your points that way. Putting them around castles means you get to cl claim it and can claim it and take control of it. Citadels do different things as well. There's an Ireland map that has instead of citadel or cathedrals, uh, you're going to have round towers, which give different abilities. A lot of unique things and fun things going on in here that is not 
they're not unique, but the way they're applying them is going to make for a very fun game. You're going to have two maps that have different strategies. you got the six-fold board of Scotland on one side, Ireland on the other side to add in more depth. You're getting all these crazy pieces to go with it. There's a lot of pieces. They are um, doing something really interesting with the uh, 3D printed assets. They are uh, rewood, so they're making it from waste products of wood production. So these are pressed. Uh, I would almost probably say these are going to come out like uh, deck boards, if you know what those are. That's what I'm thinking. That's that's what it sounds like to me. Um, if you want previews, there is a bunch of coverage on this out there. If you want to go check it out, I'm highly looking at this. But again, I have a ton on my plate. This is a limited edition run, uh, approximately 50 bucks, which is really interesting they are prized for you so they will be revealing stuff i'm not sure if they've released anything else yeah there's only the one update um first indirect reveal was ireland uh quality of life upgrade paper tuck boxes that will be used separately to store components for the Ireland side as well as the Scotland side. That, that's a quality of life improvement I can get behind. Holy cow. That, I mean, that, if you're not going to have individual wells like you do in uh, Flamecraft for all their cards where you can just separate each bundle out nicely, tuck boxes to keep them separate is a wonderful quality of life improvement. So if that's something you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Uh, $50 around the world in 10 to 15 minutes. These guys are doing, this is no box games. They do exclusively kick, uh, print and play Kickstarters. Most of their stuff, you need very few components, but really well done games. I have their first two of Spies and uh Beards and Booty. Uh, it's a pirate dice thrown print and play. Uh, looks really fun. I have not got them printed yet because, well, I've been busy and I've slack. Okay, leave me alone. Give me some slack. Okay, thank you. Uh, but this one is definitely worth looking at. 340 backers and uh, basically 3,400 raised is pretty good for the just that you're there's no physical so if you want this game you're printing it yourself and you're playing it yourself i think these i think this is a great concept and if you play these games they're really really good uh how to play i haven't even really looked at this each round navigator chooses one action on behalf of all players uh travel to a connecting city explore the city you're in or purchase souvenirs to fill your suitcase. Score points by tracking your experiences, marking souvenirs, and visiting. Okay, so a lot of, again, really simple rules. You're trying to build up your supplies while limiting what other people can do. So if you're in a city with good souvenirs, picking up those souvenirs while other people are not good places really sets you ahead. Very nice, simple mechanics, obviously. Uh, if you want some previews, they have the previews there for you. Bonus maps. They have Europe, United States. That's excellent. They also do this a lot. They add in uh, quite a few. They add a lot of extra content the more there's due. And they do it in a very well, really good way. Uh, pledge levels, $5. The deluxe version gets you the U.S. and Europe map both as well. So $8 for everything. And then if you want, yeah, so $16 gets you the deluxe version plus their previous games as well. Again, if you want this one, it's really easy. Their files are nicely set up from their other games. Next up, we have Ironwood from Mind Clash Games. This is a two-player game from them, 
and I am insanely curious about their games, but I know they rank on the higher level, and with me and Heather, we don't play that high level of games, like high high complexity games. We prefer simpler with complex interactions. So we don't necessarily go for the complex rules with a lot of overhead. The this one you are either druids trying to restore uh totems or irons uh ironclad trying to build out your forges. It is a clash of two different cultures trying to take their stuff. There are pr lots of lots of content around this one if you want to check it out to see if this is yours. I want to, but again, I'm restraining myself from spending every last penny at this point because yeah, here's another big selling point for this one. Solo mode is designed by David uh, Turksy. Now, I'm pretty sure if I this is the name I'm thinking of, he does some of the best solo mode adaptations around for games that make them very simple to follow while also feeling like an opponent. That is key on all fronts to for everybody. Uh, lots of testimonials throughout as well. This is a pre-order not necessarily a campaign, so they are already producing this game, and that you're you're just signifying how many copies they need to print, rather than it gets really confusing now that GameFound is doing pre-orders as well as campaigns as well as late pledges. Uh, but fifty dollars for the game, I think this is kind of set up where they could add more factions if they wanted to down the road. Uh, be, the other thing you can do with this pre-order is because it's going to deliver in September, if you're a European backer or pre-order, you'll be able to, and you're going to uh, Spiel, I think they have, or Essen, Essen Spiel, uh, they're going to have the uh, pickup in, pick up, you can pick it up there rather than getting it shipped to you. Uh, available retail, but every priority directly into funding our studio and the development of upcoming games. Uh, yep, it just does all that stuff. You can look into it more if you want. DC Superheroes United is coming in July 2024. This is one I am 99.99% .99 passing on because... I have all the Marvel, and while some of the minis look interesting to me, I don't feel enough of a pull at this point to drop another $400 on this game system. They have yet to deliver my Marvel United uh, multiverse, so I'm kind of waiting to see what happens there. Uh, but... On the multiverse front, they announced that they're getting close to the end of production and loading ships up with some of them, or loading cargo containers and getting prepack done on some of them, which is very heartening because Dice Marvel Dice Throne just with the X Men just threw out like we're still working on the missions, and I'm pretty sure um, they have the X Men the actual characters done they're now working on getting the marvel side done and i'm just like but are the missions done and i just I, I just want my characters that's all i pledge for i just want my characters uh if you love dc this is the same marvel united system they have a ton of comments in here and their discord and their facebook group it's it's going to be huge. It's going to be big with all the heroes that you want and all the villains you could possibly want. Check it out if you want to. They have a follow. You get a free, go uh, free coin uh, for Two-Face. 
when you follow so it's an easy gift you can get and it will let you know when it goes live next up we have from bff games the game yield battle for you Oshira, which is a asymmetric area control game for two to five players this is a prehistory of the world of hidden leaders where the king is young and alive and he is trying to fight off usurpers to his throne that are threatening to tear apart his kingdom that he has created looks really interesting i need to see more on this this is launching june 25th and these guys honestly when we got the hidden leaders uh print and play early were absolutely fabulous to work with and they produced a really wonderful game in a good timeline uh, this last expansion, they were a little quiet during the uh, post to delivery phase, but they only updated when they had news. Uh, so, and it could I could have lost a lot of their communication in the shuffle of emails and such. But uh, they do pretty good about communicating and being pretty awesome community and good guys to work with. So I'm very curious in that one. Can't wait for that to come because it actually did look pretty good setup wise i'm curious to know how that goes railroad tiles this is coming out i want to say end of june as well and this is a new game in the railroad ink railroad ink universe wow english sucks some days uh and instead of roll and write you're now going to have tiles and you're going to have trains and you're going to be moving around and adding a little more complexity i like what i'm seeing i showed this to heather and she i mean if she could have hit my keyboard with a uh, hammer to smash the button as fast as possible she would have so this is one we are going to be backing for sure and it doesn't even have to be my money that i'm spending because i already talked to her about that because this is one she wants as well uh, look forward to it. We will be smashing the back button on that one. Micro Moonshine by Thisroy Games. This is one that I'm following because I love the game these guys put out. I have uh, Microcosmos and Skyline Express, which is was re-implemented by Micro Architects. These guys are one of the companies staying on a small box uh, build style uh program because they found we do really well in these small boxes where skyline express was a normal size box and it really hurt them to get it to market i almost want to take the time to see if i can't figure out how to get uh skyline express into a micro box their micro box but that's neither here nor there in this one you're going to be hiring different people running around New York, either making moonshine and selling it for a profit, disrupting other people's operations, all the good stuff. And they do such a wonderful job of their presentation. These guys, I'm pretty sure they use a uh, per, uh, game where uh, factory in Poland as well. So they're helping local economies as much as possible and i think that's wonderful the quality that comes out of their games too i am super impressed with they do a good job of communicating when they need to and i'm pretty sure their stuff has come in on time without huge delays and things like that they do a lot of work up front and their games just look absolutely fantastic when they're on the table even though they're sm sometimes small cards and whatever it's very clean very easy to read on what you're doing and once you get the flow of the game because that might take a second to get the games flow very well and you can run through the game at an easy clip without having to reference the rules all the time that's all i had for this video these are games that are either currently out right now and i'm very interested in or games that are coming to crowdfunding that I am 100% on board for. Uh, Rebirth right now, I'm I'm hoping another Meeple wants to pick that up rather than me spending money because I'm already strapped for it. Because it does look like a, 
Madclaw in our Discord posted a link and said this looks like something you meeples would like, and it very much is a game that us meeples would like and would love to support them. But again, I have a lot coming and I need to uh, prepare and brace and all that stuff for games getting here, as well as spending my money wisely. Ironwood that's coming up as well looks or is pre live right now as well looks really good but and i want to get a mind clash game because i know they make really good games that have a really great depth to them i also am just i'm spent out and i can always pick this one up later because they want to go to retail with their games and they have a presence in retail so as much as i want to pre-order now is not the time for me to get that one the print and play i'm going to probably just wind up spending the $8 because I don't feel bad about picking up an $8 game and possibly never spending it because I'm encouraging a system that I think is a good one because no, I don't always need the game right now, but I'll take it for later. And with those assets, I can make it like this size so I can play it on my own time or store it well rather than a big box. And then Railroad, when Railroad Tiles comes out and when Micro Moonshine comes out, I will probably be wheelhouse slamming that back button on both of those. I'm not 100% on the Micro Moonshine, but I'm leaning strongly towards it. If there's anything else you guys want to see in there, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button or, and comment down below. And I will look them up and possibly see about uh, what I think of those games. Because I love hearing what's out there because I miss a ton of games. So, until next time, bye. If you like what you just saw, please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more great gaming content.